Hey everybody, Brickliver18 here today, and as you can see, I have two of the LEGO Architecture Whitehouses with me, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing these two really cool sets. So the very first one, which is set number 21006, actually came out in 2010 in the US and 2011 here in Canada. It was ages 12 plus, as I mentioned, part of the LEGO Architecture line, and has 560 pieces. This second LEGO White House at the very back of the screen here is set number 21054, also part of the LEGO Architecture theme, but this set has 1,483 pieces and is actually ages 18 plus instead of ages 12 plus. The age and the piece count aren't the only two differences of this set, and as you can see, there are quite a few, and that's what this video is really going to be taking a look at. So of course, the biggest differences of these two sets are actually the set itself and the structure of the model. So as you can see from the 2010 version, it only comes with the main center area of the White House, which is the residence. Here with this 2020 model, it comes with the full complete White House complex. It includes the residence building, the west wing, as well as the east wing. So of course, for this comparison video, it would be really unfair to compare these two sets, you know, with these two extra features. So to get a better view, as well as to get a better overview on camera, I'm going to remove the east and the west wing. And if you'd like to see these two parts in a lot more detail, you'll have to check out my more detailed White House review. All right, so now that we're making a more apples to apples comparison, I think this is a lot more fair than to try and compare the two different models. But of course, I will mention that that whole model comes with two whole extra wings. Um, this one here, the 2020 model. But anyway, as you can see here, we've got the 2020 model looking from the south side of the White House and the 2014 model looking from the north side. Now again, to compare them apples to apples, I'm going to turn it around and show you the north side for each of these models. As you can see, the 2014 model is much wider. It's about one and a half times that of what the, the 2020 version is. I like the 2014 look of the front of, from the north side so much better. So in the 2020 set, the, you know, the main box on the pictures is the south side of the White House. However, on the 2014 one, the main box is on the north side. And honestly, you can really tell the difference where LEGO and their designers put in their hard work and effort. Because the north side of the 2010 White House is so much nicer than the north side of the 2020 White House, but it's also vice versa. And the 2020 south side is much nicer. But as you can see here, because on the 2014 model, this is the main version, there are a couple different plants on each side which looks really nice they're all spread out versus the 2020 has two different plants in the center I kind of like these ones because of the coloring the 2020 look very like fake almost but overall they still look really nice what I said in my review of the 2021 that I really didn't like is this part on the White House which is like the veranda is supposed to be the entrance to the building so here as you can see there's lots of great steps leading right up to the center of the White House and then there's the White House tile here however here in this 2020 model there are no steps whatsoever to enter the White House it is just a like a flat piece of like it's just flat like there's no entrance way so I didn't like that and then as you can see from the front I actually like the 2014 model a little bit better because the roof has quite a bit more detailing as you can see it continues on with the black roof and just has very nice points versus here the 2021 it just has these weird tiles and it doesn't have nearly as much detailing you will notice that there are the same amount of chimneys which looks really good I do like on the 2010 model that it's a tiled roof versus up here it's open studs I think Lego could have added a few more studs there and just or a few more tiles and just made it look so much better as you can see there is a flag on the 2014 model which is just a plain flag but here on the 2020 model it's actually a one by two printed piece which I think looks really really cool there are three different levels here on the on the 2010 version Version, including the basement and two upper levels and then here in 2020 we just have the two upper levels from the side as you can see they do look quite similar this one here obviously is more of a detailed side because there's no addition to it I love how the 2020 version actually includes the west and the east wing so that's why it looks a little bit different here and then of course when you spin it around to the south side of the White House you can see this 2020 model is really detailed it's got the amazing Truman balcony lots of bushes the wraparound driveway the iconic fountain and then in the 2014 version we actually don't get any of that so we do have the Truman balcony which looks really cool these pillars I find fall off really easy especially now that the model is a bit older 
Lego could have easily used some round tiles here, but I don't believe there were even round tiles in 2010 when this set came out, so that makes sense. There are really no bushes or anything like that, which definitely could have been changed upon because there are so many bushes in this area. In the real world, I think the 2020 version did a much better job at capturing that. Overall, it does look pretty similar, but it just looks so much more detailed here on the 2020 version. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. It, it honestly doesn't even really look like the White House from this side. It's very underwhelming from the 2010 version of the White House. Very, very underwhelming compared to the 2020 version. And then, of course, the sides are pretty much the same. I haven't fixed this from the review, but it should be the window should be reversed. I definitely will have to do that. And then, of course, I like how the flag's kind of in the center of the White House on this one versus not in the center on this one it just overall has a really nice comparison to it and then of course you know i already mentioned this but the biggest difference between these two sets include the fact that this white house doesn't include east and the west wing when this one does i think this version could have been they, they could have done a lot more to include the actual part of the white house i think as i said the north side looks amazing it looks great if it had a little bit more trees it would look even better however the south side you can barely even tell that this is the white house on the 2010 version and i mean even when you're looking at the 2020 version, the North Side, which I don't really like, you can still tell that it's the classic, it's iconic, it's the White House. But with the 2010 version, it's really hard to tell from that side. But I do like the size and scale of this model. I'm really glad I was able to pick this one up. I actually got it in New York City, which is really exciting to me. But I... Uh, overall, I think they're both great models. They're great for different reasons. It is hard to compare the two, and this video is neglecting the fact that, you know, what the other the east wing and the west wings really have because i don't want to i can't say oh the 2020 is way better because it has all these extra features but i just kind of wanted to compare the residencies from the two overall from what i remember the 2010 model was a great build as well it was i built this set about six years ago now so i don't remember it very very well if i'm being completely honest i did just build the 2021 so that's why my decisions are influenced a little but just even overlooking when I spun the sets around and I pointed at some key things but you'll just notice there are a variety of differences that I didn't mention such as in the review I talked about how detailed this are with the different clips on the side and between the windows so it's not just flat obviously here it is just flat it's cool here because they use jumper plates to have the windows offset and this one actually used a different snot building technique so overall they are both really just they're cool builds this one was really good for its time obviously in 2010 but because it was from 2010 so much has changed there are new pieces as i even mentioned that i think the tiles would have been better on the south side of the white house i don't even think those curved tiles were around in you know 2010 when the set came out and for reference some of the tiles i do mean have actually been used in the 2020 set here for the west wing as you can see for the oval office so I, overall they're both really cool sets i like different parts from each of them at the end of the day you know the 2010 white house isn't on sale anymore so i would say grab the 2021 but if you do have the opportunity to grab the the 2010 one as well if you ever saw it craigslist or something like that i would also say go for it just because it's got a couple, couple cool features a couple cool designs that the set doesn't have and i'm actually going to be putting these sets on display right behind my studio because i love them and i would love them to be on display forever and of course i'd be forgetting a huge part of this video if i didn't mention the boxes i'm not going to spend time on that because i know you guys don't really care about the boxes but as you can see there are quite a few differences to the lego architecture box since this set did come out in 2010 as you can see this one's much smaller has the classic design looks like the old architecture box and then this new 2020 version is just the much more updated modern design still has the same features which is what i really love about the architecture box the fact that it folds up but there are some key differences there and as I mentioned, this is what the display shelf is going to look like here on my studio. I've got the 2010 White House next to the 2021, and their boxes are on display as well. And overall, I just really like that, and I'm looking forward to having them in all my future videos. So anyway, thanks everybody so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing the comparison between these two really cool architecture sets. I know they're some of my favorite sets, and I hope that you might, you know, enjoyed this video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really did hope you enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. And of course, stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.